guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for being here today thank you to my returning subscribers for always making it back to my videos if you're a new subscriber thank you so much for joining our channel you'll enjoy it here i promise you and if you're hopping on my videos for the first time i hope you enjoy it enough to stay welcome on board and let's get into the business of today so Today's video is another layering combination video. I wanted to show you some of my new finds with layering and I hope you enjoy the video today. So before we go into today's video, my channel is called Scent Solutions. My name is Anne and we're all about perfumes on this channel. So I hope you have a great time today. I want to take you through a few layering combinations that I came across in the course of the last few months okay so first off we're going to start with one that I find very interesting but before we start I'd like to say that I've discovered that with layering you kind of have to be patient and just try different combinations things will work some won't but it kind of has to be a trial and error before you get that perfect combo now what i do is i try on paper i try on my skin i see what works and then i note it down so that's what i've been doing for the past few months just trying to see what combos work well and not just working well in the opening but working well through the duration of wear so that's obviously very important now what are the principles i apply to be honest Right now, I'm not necessarily applying any principles. It's either I'm trying to make a perfume more wearable or I'm trying to add something to a perfume or I'm trying to tone a perfume down a bit, make it sweeter or make it more floral, you know, just introduce a new element, a new dynamic to the perfume. That really is what I think about when I'm layering. Now, that being said, I'll start with my first combo of today. So I have Mon Guerlain. This is the Eau de Parfum Intense, and I layer this with Flora by Gucci. Now, this is the Eau Fresh. These two make for a very beautiful layering combination, and I'll tell you why. So, with Mongrelan, I love Mongrelan. Mongrelan is like my ever-dependable, ever-reliable fragrance easy reach whenever i just want to feel luxe elegant comfortable you know comforted and just pretty i reach for mongrelan now i was reading up what what kind of notes layer well with lavender and i read that if you pair lavender with a heavy citrus a fragrance that you get something really good and that lavender also pairs very well with rose so i tried lavender that is my mongrelan with the lavender and musk with flora by gucci or fresh now flora by gucci or gucci or fresh has citrus notes it got some um green notes to it it has pink pepper it has some woody notes and patchouli you know so it's really citrusy green a little musky a little bit of patchouli a hint of pepper in it i think it's pink pepper so it's obviously heavy on the citrus and i paired it with my mongrelan and this was absolutely stunning so it just adds a layer of brightness to mongrelan that i love it is stunning almost like creates a new fragrance entirely but with the mongrelan dna obviously very prominent i loved this combo and i think it's one that works well if you know it works well both during the day and at night i don't think that this is restrictive in the sense that you can wear it any time of day if you like i feel like this is a very good combo maybe for a summer date night that sort of thing so if you have this combination or you have any citrus heavy perfume you could try it with mongrelan and let me know in the comments what works for you all right so this is my first combo of the day 
Now, second, oh, I should have left Mongolan because I'm pairing it with something else. So remember I had said that Mongolan pairs well with citrus notes as well as rose. So I paired my Mongolan with La Vie Belle and Rose. Guys, this combo here is the business. It is the business. That's all I can say. Mongolan and La Vie Belle and Rose. Ah, <sighs> guys, I couldn't believe it. So, La Vie Belle and Rose is your rose. I think there is some patchouli at the base. It is such a beautiful fragrance, honestly. There's rose. I think there's iris in it as well because it does have a powdery little consistency to it. And there's obviously some berries in the opening that gives it a bit of tartness. Now, with your Mongolan, there's... Mongrelan is a beautiful fragrance. First of all, Mongrelan is lavender, vanilla. I mean, those are the prominent notes in my Mongrelan. Now, when you're looking at lavender, you're looking at vanilla, and then you're looking at rose. Oh my God. The combo, I wasn't expecting. So this gives me like still lavender, but then with the vanilla and the increased muskiness because there's musk and patchouli in both of them and then the powderiness that comes from both the mongrelan and la vie belle because both actually coincidentally have iris guys this is stunning it is just stunning i can't even say what adds to what because they both mesh so well together but in looking at the notes i actually realized that they have a lot of complementary notes they have iris they both have musk they both have woody notes and they both have patchouli so really they complement each other and they work so well together it just creates a gorgeous gorgeous very elevated fragrance that you can wear during the day at night oh, this one will get you noticed this one will get your man to go crazy so get ready to be tailed by your man get ready to be hugged get ready to just be ravished when you use this combination guys all righty now next up have another combo that I think you would love and that is again wow today is a mongrelan day okay now mongrelan yet again I'm not going to remove it again because I have quite a number of combos with mongrelan in this video now we're going to do something else that I said in the beginning that I do when I want to either play up a particular note in my perfumes. So Mongolan, like I said earlier, has lavender and vanilla. We're going to add another vanilla forward fragrance to this to create magic. So here you have Nishane, a hundred silent ways extract the perfume with my Mongolan Eau de Parfum Intense. This is fire. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely stunning this is a marriage and a match made in heaven in fragrance heaven oh guys a hundred silent ways is tuberous peach there's some orris that gives it a bit of powderiness it's definitely a vanilla forward fragrance with some sandalwood and vetiver at the base to round it up a bit now nishane gives off a very subtle warm cozy sexy vanillic vibe that's what nishane is this is turning out to be one of my best ever vanilla fragrances mongrelan i mean if you've watched my channel for any length of time you'll know that i adore the gorgeousness that is mongrelan now when you mix these two fragrances you get lavender vanilla heaven it's beautiful. Nishane just adds that extra kick of sweetness to Mongrelan. And I think that it tames the lavender a bit because lavender could be, lean a little masculine in some people. Now, Nishane tames that lavender, adds sweetness, adds warmth, adds depth, makes Mongrelan a sweet, beautiful, comforting cozy 
burst of, I don't know. It's just beautiful. I've run out of adjectives. Bottom line is these two perfumes go well together. Go try it if you have it. It's stunning. All right. Next up, have another one that I think you might like too. And this is two perfumes in which I'm trying to build or rather play up similar notes. So that is Black Opium and Givenchy Irresistible. Now, these two perfumes are match made in heaven. Both of them are pear-based and they, mas they match so well together. Now, Floral Shock has pear, it has citrus. I think it's got some white flowers, musk, and um, coffee, obviously, in the base. Givenchy Irresistible is another pear-forward fragrance. Both perfumes together, magic 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 absolutely stunning black opium just adds a little more depth to Givenchy irresistible the coffee notes in it is you know just amps that up a little bit and makes it such a warm inviting delicious fragrance that's what i can say about this combo deliciousness subtle beautiful you smell good it projects it's beautiful it's just stunning if you have these two perfumes please try them you'll you'll enjoy it honestly you would both pear based with some musk coffee even oh my god this is fantastic you should try it if you have it absolutely stunning all right next up i have one that is um, not, a, not an unlikely combo because I think that they both have what it takes to complement each other. And that is my Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. This bottle reminds me of a lady wearing her hat to the side. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. It's so classy and pretty. And Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Mimosa. These two perfumes work very, very well together. This is another lovely summer combo that if you're looking to find something sweet, something uplifting and delicious for the summer, you should give this a try. Now, Daisy Love is berries. There's Daisy. I think there's some bergamot in it as well. There's also some sugar. There's some musky notes. It's powdery, so there's iris and then a hint of woody notes at the base. Green Tea Mimosa, as the name implies, is your citrus-heavy fragrance with some green tea, with some mimosa in it and all of that. When you pair these two, the Green Tea Mimosa adds some sparkle to Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs and it is stunning. I, there's a little bit of citrus in Daisy Love. I think there's some bergamot in the opening, but the Green Tea Mimosa adds a burst of citrus and that mimosa and just gives it it's almost like the fragrance is singing it's like oh what, what feels uplifting it's like i don't know you're in a in a you're just in a flower garden where there's where there's citrus trees somewhere and it's just all coming together and lifting up your spirits there's no way that this perfume combo will not lift your spirit. I can tell you that for free. Stunning, fantastic, you'll love it. Okay, now there's a generator sound because I think there's an issue with power that just happened now. So give me a minute to close my windows and come back. Okay, sorry for the disruption. So you may hear a little bit of the generator sound, but we're almost done with the video, so it shouldn't go on too long. All right, so Daisy Love, Elizabeth Arden, Green Tea Mimosa, sparkling joyousness, sparkling happiness, definitely a summer combo to try. Okay, last on the list, we have one that I find very beautiful and intriguing, and that is... This one is pretty simple in terms of the principle. Jean-Paul Gaultier, Scandal, and um, Miss Dior, Le Parfum. These two go so well together, and I'm sure you know why. I mean, Miss Dior, her ambery, 
think there's some vanilla in it so there's orange honey white florals and there's i mean scandal is very honey honey intense there's caramel honey you know all of that in scandal this one has some citrus it has some vanilla it has some amber in it imagine mixing the two stunning so all this all that happens is that scandal with the caramel and honey and all of that sweetens miss dior miss dior adds depth structure to scandal and they are a match made in fragrance heaven try it stunning you don't get the bitterness in the Miss Dior when you combine it with Scandal. And Scandal feels a lot less saccharine sweet when you put in the Miss Dior. So, symbiosis for you. Absolutely fantastic. All right, guys. There you have it for today. I'm so happy to be making this video because I've been at this layering thing for a while. And I've just... Been, I had to move out of my house for a bit because we're doing some remodeling. I didn't really have time to film too many videos. So I've been looking for the perfect time. And today was just the perfect time to do this. And I'm so happy to bring you these combos. Please, if you have these perfumes, try them, try them and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have other layering suggestions, please let me know. If I have the perfumes, if I can get my hands on them, I'll definitely try and let you know what I think think if you're just hopping on my videos for the first time and you haven't subscribed and you love this content please please do well to click the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you get alerted anytime i post a new video all right guys till i see you on another video thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day or night bye